Hey guys, what's going on? It's Wasim here again from Handsome Smiles and I just want to say thank you for joining me on another fragrance related video. So guys, today we are going to be doing a top 3 Night Out Scents collaboration and I am collaborating with two of my favourite reviewers. Two guys are really admiring this fragrance game. Uh, those guys are Note Punch and Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, also known as Carlos. So guys, I'm going to leave a link to both their uh, channels in my description below so make sure you guys check them out i'm a big fan of theirs and i'm sure you guys will be as well so guys let me get this uh, collaboration started with my number three scent at number three i have a fragrance from christian dior from the Le Privé line and that fragrance is oud isfahan guys this fragrance is absolutely brilliant for those nights out where there's going to be a lot of people and you need a fragrance which has the strength to really push out there really has that power to project and to get you noticed uh, a lot of times when there's a lot of people around uh, some fragrances really die down and this fragrance really doesn't it's a beast of a fragrance guys this fragrance has incredible longevity and incredible projection it's going to last all night and it's going to project all night as well and you are going to get noticed for me i really reach for this when i'm uh, going out with my friends to a shisha lounge or if I'm going to a wedding where there's going to be a lot of Indian food a lot of aroma of uh, food and people and this fragrance just really pushes out all night and gets you noticed absolutely fantastic a lot of fragrances die out in those situations but not Oud Isfahan by Christian Dior the scent itself is a mix of Oud, Rose and Patchouli but guys this fragrance is blended so well that not one note really stands out it's a beautiful elegant fragrance but it has that power the beastly power that it has beautiful scent guys it really makes you feel really regal and has this really great middle eastern vibe as well which i really do enjoy in, in perfumery great fragrance guys very elegant but very strong as well definitely a fragrance you guys need to check out great longevity great projection absolute classic in my opinion that it, that is Oud Isfahan by Christian Dior. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carlos and I'm from YouTube channel Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Just want to say thank you to Wasim for asking me to be a part of the top three Night Out Fragrances collaboration video. So number three, I choose Ambre Nuit by Christian Dior. This is not quite as loud as my other two choices. This is more for an, I'd say, going out to dinner or a date or something like that. It's not too loud. You get Turkish rose, some pink pepper and amber. It's really, really elegant. Not too loud, as I said, and it's just really, really sophisticated. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful scent and would make a great night out for dinner or date night fragrance. What's up handsome? What's up Carlitos? Let's do this. Basically Wasim in Arabic means handsome in English. So I kind of figured it out myself because obviously I'm very smart. Why Wasim called his channel handsome smells? Because he obviously smells. We still love you buddy. Just go take a fitting shower. So there you go guys, me myself, I love going out and I love collecting going out fragrances and I have too many good ones but to narrow it down to only three fragrances was really really hard for me but I made it but in a different way what am I trying to say is my number one pick it doesn't mean that it's better than my number two or three I just chose three different scenarios for three different going out occasions and my third pick for my first scenario is when you want to smell rich and regal for a fraction of the price and that's when I'm gonna use 24 gold 24 gold is just magnificent guys amber vanilla oud very potent very strong I got this for $25 a while back it smells just wonderful regal rich and it would turn heads and people would ask you what are you wearing my number all right guys at number two i have a fragrance from the house of uh, serge lutans and the fragrance is shergi guys this was one of my first uh, this was my first niche uh, fragrance i purchased and i'm so glad i did this is an absolute masterpiece guys for me guys this is a effortless class in a bottle 
just incredible complex elegance I would say has a lot of notes but just comes across very elegant uh, just one of the best sweet tobacco fragrances of all time the main notes I get in Serge Dutin Chergui are the tobacco, the hay, the rose and the honey just well, blend so well together to create this really sweet tobacco scent with a lot of powderiness just makes you feel really elegant for me guys this is a fragrance I really pick up for when I'm going for a, a night out for a meal say if I'm going night out for a meal uh, with my family then this is definitely a fragrance I really love to reach for and it works incredibly well when you're slightly dressed up a little bit because it really has that really regal elegant sort of vibe uh, just great for a formal occasion guys this would work incredibly well as a date scent as well the longevity is fantastic again this is going to last you the entire night and the projection is excellent as well great fragrance that is uh, Serge Lutin's Chergui so number two I have Ultra Mild by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This one is definitely on the louder side. You get a big blast of fruity notes. It's, um, it's very loud. You get some lavender and a little vanilla in the dry down. It lasts for a lot of hours. It's fun, it's youthful. I think it's a great fragrance for, definitely for clubbing. My number two spot or my classy metrosexual category. This fragrance is kind of a new acquisition of mine that I personally adore. I didn't expect that I would love a fragrance as much. Everything I need from a fragrance for going out, I got it here. Naxos by Zerjov. This is really good guys. I highly recommend you guys trying this. At least with a sample. It resembles a lot and I said it myself pure Havan by Jerry Mugler but this one first of all it is on steroids so it's like 10 times stronger and 10 times better Naxos on my number two spot so my personal favorite special event or night out or club or just want to smell better than everyone else is definitely Tom Ford private blend amber absolute it's resinous, it's got vanilla, it's got woods, it's got incense. It's a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. This is a vintage bottle, but it's been recently re-released. And from what I hear, it's pretty much in line with what it was before. It lasts for hours. It'll make you stand out in the crowd. It's top notch, top notch, and definitely my favorite night out fragrance. My number one spot, which is also my ultimate going out fragrance, which is I personally adore, which is I categorize it as a seductive scent. Trust me guys, I almost got raped once wearing that specific fragrance. And this is the number one fragrance among all my friends. And I got two of my friends by two bottles already. One of them just got a bottle because he just wants to smell like a rich nigger, as he said. This fragrance is very sweet. All those three fragrances that I picked are very sweet. If you want to appeal to the masses, appeal to the girls in general, you need to pick sweet fragrances. And uh, that fragrance would be Majda Bakali Fusion Sacré pour Louis. This is a beautiful, mysterious, seductive fragrance, guys. I really, really highly recommend you guys wearing this fragrance. It works really well for me and I personally adore it. Burn caramel, rum, boozy with a very prominent weird celery note that it really complements the fragrance and I really personally love it. That's why Fusion Sacré is on my number one spot. I just want to thank Wasim again for this wonderful collaboration along the teddy bear of the community. Carlitos, Carlos Powell, I love you guys and see you guys soon. Guys, you're down to number one. For me, at number one was no surprise to myself. For me, my favourite night out fragrance, uh, this is definitely a fragrance which I like to uh, reach for for those casual nights out. Say I'm going to a cinema, say I'm going bowling or I'm going for a family day out or a family night out or if I'm even going to shoot some pool with some of my friends. A great casual night out scent for me is Pure Malt by Thierry Mugler. This is such an easy fragrance to pick up and just wear. 
great for casual nights out guys uh, the longevity is fantastic projection is brilliant as well the scent itself is gorgeous a lot of people are going to compliment you when you're wearing this for me guys this is a fragrance which just has a really great comforting vibe for me i love wearing this when i'm wearing a jumper and it works really well in these uh, uk winters and springtime as well definitely great fragrance to wear in the fall as well just a brilliant fragrance for a night out guys the scent itself is beautiful uh, I, I associate a lot of great memories with this scent and every time I wear this it just really reminds me of great times a lot of fun times and just great great memories absolutely fantastic for me uh, for a night out great fragrance do guys check this one out has great projection great longevity a lot of people are going to compliment you the scent itself is very pleasing beautiful scent by Sierra Mugler very sweet uh, very fruity as well a lot of pe people pick up a beauty vibe from this uh, I myself don't drink any alcohol so I wouldn't get the association because I just haven't smelt that before but for me this just really has a great comforting vibe very fruity very sweet has a lot of caramel as well Great fragrance guys, absolutely adore this fragrance, that's Pure Malt by Thierry Mugla. Anyways guys, that's the end of the collaboration and I just want to say a massive thank you to both Note Punch and Carlos for being part of this collaboration guys, I really really uh, must say thank you. I've been a massive fan of your channels for a really long time and admire a lot of your work and hopefully one day I can reach your level. I also want to say thank you for your patience for this uh, video. I know you guys sent your parts of the collaborations quite a while ago and this video is going to come out a little bit late. I've just been really busy so guys thank you for your patience. Anyways guys for you guys I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have then make sure you leave me a like or a comment below. And once again thank you Notepunts and Carlos for being part of this collaboration. Anyways guys until next time see you later.